here, hello and welcome back. And today we are looking at RAID rebuild speeds in Synology's DSM-7 platform. I'm here tucked at the top of the screen, but I will disappear for most of it because let's be perfectly honest, this is where the attention should be. This is the Synology DS920. And in today's video, I'm going to be bench testing the supposed fast repair system built into Synology's DSM-7 system. Today we've got this device populated with three hard drives inside, 8TB drives, and we've already created the storage pool, and I'm gonna make my way over to the screen now. Hopefully you can see the whole thing there. And on this screen right now, we have got the storage manager. And as you can see, if we go into the storage pool, we have a pool here made up of three hard drives, three of those hard drives there, and these are WD Red Pro um, ATBs. They're in a RAID 5 environment now. We've got one hot spare. That hot spare is in bay 1 and what we can do is locate that drive and hopefully you can make that out on screen. You should see an orange light dictated here on the side. I don't know how well you can make that out but I can see it from here. Bay 1 is a hot swap uh, bay. On top of that we've done it as a hot, uh, sorry, a hot spare not a hot swap. And if we go into the settings of this device, I can show you that not only have we got the run raid sync faster option on there, but we've also enabled fast repair. Now, for those that aren't aware, fast repair, it, the difference between it and a traditional raid repair is that the um, Synology now is when it's repairing the raid configuration, it's going to do it only having to build the data that is already on the storage pool. So, in my case, I've created a storage volume here, but the volume is only 2.8 TB. That means that I'm not using the entirety of that larger amount of storage on the pool. So that's 3 TB effectively being used out of 14.5 TB. Now, within the fast repair system, this should mean that this RAID is going to rebuild a great deal more quickly. Another thing to highlight is I've already activated with regards to the hot spare instantaneous util utilization. So what that means is with this hot spare that when the system initiates the hot spare it's going to do it automatically without my intervention. Now I believe I've set that up correctly. So what we're going to do today is remove either bay 2 or bay 3. I haven't decided it's all based on my viewpoint over here and then we're going to let the hot spare immediately begin the RAID rebuild. Now what we're going to be checking out is how long it takes for this system to repair this three disc 8TB RAID 5. Now typically something like this, I would assume it would be somewhere between five, maybe eight hours to do a RAID rebuild of this caliber. So although we don't have any precise figures to compare against at this stage, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and let this RAID rebuild take place with the new fast repair to see just how long it takes to rebuild our RAID configuration. And I keep saying RAID 5, it is a RAID 5. We're not running an SHR. So hopefully that will make um, no difference at all. We can see there that there's no mention down there of whether the fast repair only applies to SHR, but it is all activated. So let's go ahead and begin the process of this. So there's our hot spare details there. As you can see, we can go to the settings and it will auto replacement when the status is critical or failing. So let's go ahead there. Let's go back into the pools and I'm gonna remove bay number two or bay number three even. That's what I mean, I'm looking at it the wrong way around. So that drive has now been removed. I am screen recording. We're quite close to the NAS, so I apologize for any noise. I'm using OBS as well, using a couple of background filters. As you can see, we've gone into a degraded state. We can also see that the RAID has gone into degradation and we can see that the hot spare has now been introduced into this configuration. Luckily, that means that we have now got timestamps on everything that's happened. So in the logs, when the RAID is completed, we're gonna be able to see when this process is done. We can see here that the time being stated at the moment is 13 hours, but hopefully that should decrease over time. Generally, these are always estimated quite high at the beginning, but an average is worked out better over time. But at the moment, we're gonna see if our 3 TB volume has resulted uh, with all that extra space not being used in the pool, resulting in a quicker RAID rebuild. You can hear that noise there in the background. That's those enterprise level drives clicking around there in the background. 
But what I'm going to do now is cease recording and come back to this NAS once the raid has been completed. But we can see the repair has suddenly switched immediately to 62%. So as you can immediately see, this has seemingly repaired quite quickly due to the fact that there isn't a lot of data. I've not even left the system yet. And boom, now we're going straight into the data scrubbing. The data scrubbing now is listed at nine hours. But at the moment, we are seeing a much faster process overall. As we can see, the hot spare has now been removed from the array, but we can see that it's been successfully used. And ultimately, it's doing very well with the scrubbing still being necessary, but that new drive has been introduced successfully. And so there you have it. The RAID rebuilding has completed remarkably quickly thanks to a small amount of data being written on there and the RAID pool versus the volume being of such a small amount with lots of extra space that fast repair being able to skip the unused data areas. Of course, scrubbing is going to be necessary and that will take place over time and I would expect that and a lot of you should do that anyway from time to time. But this has been the test of the Synology Fast Repair Service in DSM-7. I'm quite pleased with it personally and I hope you are too. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you on the next video.